welcome to the 2019 season of the Chieftain Rewind. Every week, we will go through the highlights of the game of the week, hear post-game comments from Coach Marulli and players, and preview the Chieftain's next game. This year on the Chieftain Rewind, we will also be debuting a new segment called the Senior Feature, where we will sit down with one senior every week to hear their stories about their time at Utica. On this episode, we preview the 2019 season with Coach Matt Marulli and some of the seniors. So let's get started. The Utica Chieftains ended the 2018 season with a disappointing 1-8 record, but the team has high hopes for a bounce back year. Um, I think we've had a really good offseason. You know, we've been um, uh, really happy with how, how committed they've been, how dedicated they've been, how hard they've worked, how our senior leaders have uh, kind of pushed the team. So, you know, I'm excited with where we're at and how hard they've worked. Now we just uh, got to get to the real football and just get better every day and uh, get ready for week one. The Chieftains have every reason to feel optimistic about this year as they return multiple seniors on both sides of the ball. I think just the experience uh, alone, we, we have a number of guys who've played since they were sophomores and um, you know just using that experience and especially up front, I think we, we return guys and a lot of guys on offensive and defensive lines and that's I think a great place to start. You know, We need them to be kind of the strength of our team and drive us and we're, we're expecting a lot of them. One of the returning seniors is quarterback Zach Keen, who has put in a lot of work in the offseason to make sure that the team has a better season. Uh, I think we just need to do the little things right. So uh, this upcoming class has really been committed in the offseason and so has my class. So we're really looking to just uh, take every practice day one at a time and uh, just doing every little thing right. We need to make sure that uh, everybody's doing what they're supposed to, everybody's remembering all their plays and uh, just go out and execute on the field. Uh, I mean, he's just, he's put in a tremendous amount of work. He's improved himself, you know, I think physically and mentally as a quarterback. And, you know, he, he has done everything he could to better himself as a player and, and better his team. And I, I'm, you know, excited to watch him play and uh, coach him this year as a senior. We're expecting some big things out of him. And I think he's set himself up for that with all the work he's put in. While Utica does return a lot of guys, they lost one big piece to their offense in Christian Gegovic, who graduated in the spring. But Coach Marulli is confident that the right guys will step up to fill that role. Um, you know, I, I see a number of guys. I think um, Gabe Olszewski was um, kind of our number two back last year who would, who would give Christian a break. And, you know, Christian was a great athlete. He's hard to replace. Um, I think Gabe's, Gabe's kind of a different, different type of runner. He's, he's hard-nosed, hard-working, strong kid. Um, and, you know, we, we fully trust him in the backfield to kind of pick up where uh, Christian left off. And um, I think we've got a, a couple of young kids in Samuel Fakir um, who can step up and, and take over some carries also, who's more of an uh, uh, athletic, quick, speed type of back like Christian was. And, you know, we, we expect those guys to, to kind of pick up the load and, and do some good things this year. And in order to help the running game produce some points, the Chieftains look for their experienced offensive line to open up space. We return a number of guys from the offensive line, uh, McGuire, Palicky, uh, Chad Goodwine, Bryce Catellis, and Zach Dries. You know, they, they, they were starters for us last year, so we're looking for them to um, lead us up front. And then um, Kirk Kesson was, has been our tight end for the last couple of years, and um, we're expecting uh, big things from him his senior year and you know he's he's someone who leads us in blocking wise and and he can get outside and make plays as well as a tight end and expect to see a lot of those same names leading the defensive side of the ball as well defensively uh, you know Kurt Kurt again has been a defensive end for us for for the last couple of years and done a great job so we're expecting him to be uh, along with McGuire and uh, Ian Grzynski and James Valenzuela kind of anchor that defensive line with, you know, they have quite a bit of experience coming back. Uh, Gabe Olszewski is our, our linebacker returning from last year, so we're expecting him to, to kind of be the leader in the middle of, of our linebackers and kind of drive our defense. And um, Shane Lutz is a corner who is returning, and he'll be a senior. And Turner Tomati is uh, another corner returning who will be a junior. Um, we're ex expecting them to be the leaders in the backside of our defense. On the special teams, senior Madison Barsh will be getting some more responsibility. She won the job as the starting punter as a junior and will now be the starting kicker as well. And she feels confident after the offseason she had. Well, I've been going to a lot of a couple different camps from 
Ray Guy Pro Kicker, and then I was invited to their top prospect camp, which really helped me excel and compete with other really talented kick punters and kickers, which really helped me get better and just learn better form and different things like that to help me improve. Utica has their first game of the season at home against Bloomfield Hills, and the Chieftains look to get some revenge as they lost to the Blackhawks in their first game of 2018 by a score of 39 to 14. Uh, you know, we, we expect them to be a challenge. We know it's, we know they got some good athletes returning, and uh, you know they, they didn't start the season off right for us on a good uh, on a good start. So you know we're we're just getting ready to play them and kind of do as much as we can to to make ourselves better each day, and um, that's the goal: uh, get better every day leading up to that game, and then um, get ready for for that challenge week one. While last year's 1-8 season is not one that the team would like to remember, it is a learning experience that this team can build on. This year's seniors weigh in on why last year didn't go as planned and how they can improve this year. It doesn't really, it doesn't anger me as much as, as anyone would think, but it's just, it, it's a learning thing. And it's my senior season and it's a, for these guys, some of these guys, it's their sophomore season, freshman. So, I mean, we, we got a lot to prove this year for all levels, and I just I think we're ready to get at it. Just forget about last year. Last year, last year we didn't really play as a team. There were a few players who obviously were good, but then the whole team wasn't wasn't together. I guess there was a lot of fighting going on. This year it's a lot different. Like we're all a team, we're all friends, we all hang out all the time. So I learned that if you're not all all together and you don't have the same plan, you know. It's just not going to go the way you want. You know, you all have to be a team. And you all have to have the same goal and mindset to be winning. And that's what we didn't have last year. I think we got to, you know, be more mentally tough, you know, have that right mindset. We're working there, but we still got a long ways to go. And if we get to that point, I think we'll be a great football team. Um, I mean, it's it's my senior year. It's all, all the seniors. We have something that we, we want to change. Obviously, those seniors last year they didn't go how they wanted it to. But um, I want to leave like that standing memory of what our class was and who we are. I learned that you gotta forget things. I mean, stuff happens, you gotta build off of it, use it to get better, and you gotta look at the people who are like helping you and do the things for the team and aren't just uh, gonna play for themselves. Now an exciting addition this year is the brand new turf for Swinehart Field, which was part of the $20 million in district-wide renovations for Utica Community Schools. And it certainly got the seniors excited. Uh, I love it. Uh, it's always great to be on new turf, uh, a lot more traction, so uh, you know, we. We kind of beat the crap out of the old field, so um, we're really looking to, it's kind of a fresh start, same type of uh, feel to what our season should be like. Super nice. <laughs> it's a lot, it's been almost what, like 20 years since we've gotten new turf here. It's like a trampoline, it's, it's really nice, feels really good on your feet. I mean, just playing on that old turf compared to just looking at this now, I can already tell it's going to be a, a huge difference. Oh, I love it, man. It's, you know, it's got, you got a nice, like, soft, like, you know, touch, and I, I just love it. It looks nice, it's different, it looks good. Oh, I love it. I, not just for football, I play soccer, too, so it's going to be great for that, too. I mean, the old turf was nice, but this is a lot nicer. I'm excited to play on it. Now, let's look ahead to this season's schedule. The Chieftains debut the new turf in Week 1 as they host the Bloomfield Hills Blackhawks on Thursday, August 29th. Then it's back to Friday Night Lights as the team travels to Gross Point North on September 6th. Week 3 sees Utica back at home to play rival Utica Ford. On September 20th, the Chieftains head back to Gross Point to face off against last year's Mack White Division champ, Gross Point South. And then it's the week everyone looks forward to as Utica has its homecoming game against the Lakeview Huskies on September 27th. The Chieftains remain at home in week six to play another rival in the Stevenson Titans. On October 11th, the team goes back on the road to battle the Marauders of Warren Mott. In week eight, the Crusaders of Lance Cruz North come into Swinehart on senior night. And in week nine, Utica travels to a tough opponent in Chippewa Valley to close out the regular season. We here at Shelby TV are as excited as you are to get the 2019 football season underway. We would like to remind you that we will have full game coverage of each Utica home game, except for the week six matchup against Stevenson. However, one of our cameras will still be there in week six to capture the highlights. And of course, watch the Chief and Rewind every week to watch highlights, hear post game reactions, and enjoy the new senior feature segment. Thanks for watching the season preview of the Chief and Rewind. 
and we will see you in week one.